March 29th, Saints Jonas, Barchisius, and their companions, martyrs. King Sapor of Persia, in the 18th year of his reign, raised a bloody persecution against the Christians and laid waste to their churches and monasteries. Jonas and Barchisius, two brothers of the city of Beth Asa, hearing that several Christians lay under sentence of death, went to encourage and serve them. Nine of that number received the crown of martyrdom. After their execution, Jonas and Barchisius were apprehended for having exhorted them to die. The president entreated the two brothers to obey the king of Persia and to worship the sun, moon, fire, and water. Their answer was that it was more reasonable to obey the immortal king of heaven and earth than a mortal prince. Jonas was then beaten with naughty clubs and with rods, and next set in a frozen pond with a cord tied to his foot. Barchisius had two red-hot iron plates and two red-hot hammers applied under each arm, and melted lead dropped into his nostrils and eyes, after which he was carried to prison and there hung up by one foot. Despite these and other cruel tortures, the two brothers remained steadfast in the faith. The president, not dissuade, applied new and more horrible treatments, under which, at last, they yielded up their lives, while their pure souls winged their flight to heaven, there to gain the martyr's crown, which they had so faithfully won. Those powerful motives which support the martyrs under the sharpest torments ought to inspire us with patience, resignation, and holy joy under sickness, and all crosses or trials. Nothing is more heroic in the practice of Christian virtue, nothing more precious in the sight of God, than the sacrifice of patience, submission, constant fidelity, and charity in a state of suffering.